What's up guys and welcome back to Adventure Archaeology. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brandon and on this channel we search for all kinds of history. Today we got two mini adventures combined into one that we're going to showcase. The first one is going to be digging at an old 1880s bottle dump and the second one's going to be exploring this new area that I found. So without any further ado, let's go jump in a hole and see if we can find some bottles. Okay guys, we're doing something a little different today. Jason has took us to one of his honey holes that he spent some time finding and we have some permission for these people in this house right here to dig This is not a privy. I repeat. This is not a privy. This is a city dump. It Seems to be from about the 1880s, right Jason? So this is older than where we've been digging uh, We've been very careful and removed the top layer of grass stacked it neatly we're putting all the dirt out of the hole onto a tarp and we'll be sure to dress this up like we were never here when we're done i like the fact that tristan's representing the southern digger shirt today so we'll get back with you when we find something while they were scouting i had to work earlier they stopped at a, a place close to old railway and tristan looked down and picked this up on top of the ground without a detector it is terribly worn but it is way cool to find something like that as a surface find. For sure. So that's pretty cool. We're moving right along with the hole, as y'all can see. We should be there here in just a minute. Was that Tristan just pulled out a nice clay pipe? That's really neat. So that really shows you the age of the the dump that we're in when you have a clay pipe. So we're gonna keep on going, see what else we can find. Jason raking away down in there. Today is kind of a shorter day, so we're not gonna have a lot of time. Tristan's done passed out the shade over here, but I'll show you all a little bit more in depth what we got. There was one of the hutch tops. There was a hutch bottom. You see it says D&W. That stands for Davis and Worcester. That's the side to it right there. That would have been a nice hutch. Uh, that's a side to a Al Hotstetter's hutch. Uh, here's a closer look at that clay pipe that Tristan found. Really neat. A uh, little medicine top to a jug to top to another hutch uh, over there I'll zoom in I don't feel like getting up, was the bottom to a clay Carter's ink container which is pretty neat and a large hutch mouth so we haven't found any whole sodas it seems like the smalls are in good shape I also dug this this one right here is probably a type of perfume it says uh, CD Pinod Paris so that's about the only whole bottle we found in here so far. But anyways, we'll have to do about another 30 minutes of uh, excavating around the bottom of it. And then when we get to fill it back in and dress it up. So I'll show y'all what it looks like after we get it done. All right, we've almost got it all patched back up. So that's where our hole was. And uh, we put the grass back over top of it, saved the sod. We mounted it up just a little bit so that it'll sink and uh, the dirt this air will wash away with the next rain so it'll be like we were never there two guys over here we were a little disheartened but we had a good time anyways guys that first spot was kind of a bust sadly but that's okay we've got a pretty cool spot that we're checking out right now i'm actually doing a little bit of scouting to come back and do some metal detecting i found this spot here about a week ago and i can't wait to show it to y'all y'all let me know what you think about this spot in the comments or what it may be below all right to put things into context i literally live that way about 400 yards not very far at all and i've rode my four wheeler through this area many times in the past but usually about 200 yards further that way my neighbor came out and he was like hey let's go ride four wheelers back here together and he showed me a spot that i've never been to where we stumbled across an interesting area if you can't tell this is pretty low-lying land it's pretty swampy and this tree's pretty cool i just wanted to have that in the shot <laughs> a lot of times people will try to tell you that these trees were bent by native americans to point the direction of a trail so in that case it would be pointing that way i don't think that that one's nearly old enough to be a tree that was bent over by native americans to point a direction i think it had to be much larger nor do i know if that's even true it's just one of those things that i've heard before in the past so what makes this site so interesting is there is a number of kind of small creeks that are running through it that are running parallel. So if you look right here, this creek run runs right through here. And then it's almost like it was man-made split in half right here. And for it to run so perfectly parallel, I'm genuinely curious as to what may have caused this. So I drove back here on the four-wheeler today to do a little bit of exploring, like I said, 
and stumbled across this spot right back here with my family and i just had to show you guys i did do a mini clip of this on facebook but i didn't really go into depth on what i thought that it may be so if you take a look right here at first sight you can tell that that hole is almost perfectly round and obviously those rocks did not stack themselves in that spot now what you don't know is that there were a couple more pieces like this one right here from a brick structure that were laying on top of it. So at first I thought, well, maybe this was a cistern. Maybe this was an area where people brought their horses to drink, or maybe it was a well. And then I got to thinking about it. This is not a good spot for a well. It's too swampy. They wouldn't have dug very far before. Obviously, they would have hit water. So I think this actually may have been a natural spring head. And they may have one time have put rocks around it and use this spot, like I said, to bring their horses to get water. Now there's some pretty cool features around this though, like, like the bricks and the rocks that could have shown that that may not have been lining it, but it may have actually been a part to a structure or a building that sat here, which is kind of interesting because we're really close to where the Civil War soldiers would have traveled back during the late 1860s or mid 1860s, I should say. So who knows? I think that this is gonna be a good place to metal detect. We brought the metal detector out here right before a rainstorm and I marked a spot right over here that's got a very large iron target in it. We're not going to dig it out today because it's too muddy, but right here there is a two foot by two foot iron target and I don't know what it'll be. So we're going to dig that out in a later video, but while we're exploring, we're going to go over here and take a look at this large tree. I'm going to take a second to show that to y'all just because I think it's neat. Right now is the perfect time to do exploring in Alabama as it is still winter time, even though it's in 70 degree range today. And that makes it where we're not really having to worry about snakes as much. Now they do occasionally pop up, especially in swampy areas like this one, but say if it was May, June, July, or August, this area would be absolutely loaded with snakes and not just the friendly kind, the poisonous kind <laughs> or venomous. I always say that wrong and then somebody corrects me in the comments below and they're like, they're not poisonous, they're venomous. So here's the tree I wanted to show y'all. This is a pretty large tree. I know the camera's not doing it a lot of justice, but I think that this is gonna be a good place to start metal detecting. Somewhere between this tree and the full wheeler and that spring head, I'm thinking that there had to have been a lot of traffic through here at one point in time, whether it be horses or old cars or just something of that manner. I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think about those springs running parallel with each other though and that spring head. And let me know if you think I should come back with a metal detector. If so, it will not be hard for us to do at all. I'll bring my wife and my daughter and we'll jump on the four wheeler and we can be here within a matter of minutes, which is pretty cool to think that somebody like me that goes out and explores every week and drives sometimes hundreds of miles, didn't realize that he had something like this right in his backyard. <laughs> it just shows you. What do y'all think lives in there? I'm thinking a possum or a raccoon. Who knows? Anyways, I hope that y'all enjoyed this little bit of a clip that I added in here as well as the first adventure. I am sorry to say that the video is short this week, but we have quite a few projects going on at the house right now. We sadly had to cut down an oak tree that was probably 150 years old that was about 10 foot off of the front of our house. I'm gonna tell you why it's really hurting mine and my wife's feelings because it has been a beautiful tree for so long, but it's starting to affect our house. What it's done is first off, it's killed all the grass in this general area. Second off, if you can't tell, the roots are spreading in all directions and it has lifted the sidewalk up and cracked the sidewalk here. And the root has actually spread over to here. I've raked the pine straw out of our flower bed here expose the root that's right on our brick line and what will happen is if we don't cut this tree down that root's going to continue to grow and as you can see it's went underneath the porch and it will crack the brick on the front of our house which is not good so we're going to say so long to this beautiful tree but at least we'll have firewood for a couple of years off of it i'm sure Took the ground. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so with that being said i gotta get back to work and get out of these woods hope you all enjoyed the video and we'll catch you guys in next week's adventure